Hey guys, it's Lizzie and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be another collection video. If you guys didn't watch my last collection video about my Uggs, then go watch that. But today's video is going to be a collection about my Pandora jewelry. So if you guys want to see my jewelry collection, then just keep watching. So just like my Ugg collection, yes, I did also work at Pandora. So all the jewelry that I did purchase was purchased because I was an employee at Pandora. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my collection as well as my charm bracelets and my charms and the reasons behind my charms just because each of my charms means something special to me. And I don't really buy charms just to buy charms just to fill them up. They have to mean something to me in order for them to go on my charm bracelet. So I'm moving the camera a little bit closer to me just so you can see the jewelry a lot more closer so I'm gonna start with one of my bangles which is my open bangle essence bracelet this bracelet is a much slimmer bracelet compared to the regular moments bracelet which is the basic bracelet everyone has so that bracelet would be this one right over here as you can see it is a lot slimmer This bracelet is actually also discontinued so it's really hard to find you can really only find it in like the Pandora website in their last chance column but it's not always in stock there so you might not be able to find it or you can buy it off of someone who's selling their Pandora jewelry which I actually have done for a lot of the items that I have I go on Kijiji and that's where I find a lot of people who are selling their Pandora jewelry for obviously a cheaper price because it is used but since I know how to clean their jewelry really good I just clean it so this bracelet has two balls on the end one of these balls you can actually take off and add the essence charms into the bracelet but I like how the bracelet is just like that so I don't really add anything onto it and it's a really cute bracelet to stack with my Pandora Moments bracelet so that's my bracelet with all my charms on it just because it's so simple and so thin it doesn't take away from my Moments bracelet so that would be that so again just nice and cute and small not too much so the next item I'm gonna show you guys is my Pandora Moments bracelet. I actually have two Moments bracelet. I have a snake teen bracelet as well as a bangle bracelet. So I'm going to show you guys that first. So I'm just going to take the charms off of both bracelets just so I can show you the bracelets alone just so you guys can see the difference. A few moments later. Okay so you have your snake chain bracelet and your bangle when it comes to the Moments collections. So this right here are your two different bracelets. This one here is a snake chain bracelet. This right here is your bangle. So the difference of these is this one right over here is a lot more flexible than this one. But I'm more of a fan of this one than the snake chain. But again, the snake chain is one of the most popular pieces at Pandora. So the snake chain bracelet, you would just open up the little clasp with your fingernail it just pops right open and it opens up like that hence why it's called a snake chain bracelet the bangle same thing you open up the clasp oh wait, let me close it first and then i'll open it so you just again your fingernail opens up but it's not going to open up like a snake chain because it's bangled so much it's a harder finish, but I like this one because it's a cleaner finish than this one. So the snake chain is one of the most popular bracelets, but it is one of the bracelets you need to be a little bit more careful with. This one you need a safety chain or some clips. Just right over here, this is where they go on. You can put the clips on any part of the bracelet, but they're more meant to go on right over here. Reason why is because when your bracelet opens, so when you're taking it off and you're trying to open it, sometimes it's just going to pop right open and you don't want to lose all your charms and just in case if the clasp ran randomly opens up and you're out, you don't want your charms to fall off just because your charms are pretty expensive and 
people do spend at least over a thousand dollars to fill up their entire bracelet. Damn! So I'm gonna put on the charms back on just so you guys can see what I have on my bracelets. I'm gonna try to give a background on each charm and explain why I got it and basically the story behind it. So this right here is the snake chain bracelet. This bracelet only has three charms on it just because I'm trying to make a Disney bracelet. So these charms are my Disney charms. I actually bought this bracelet off of someone from Kijiji yesterday or two days ago. So that's why there's like only three charms on it just because I haven't filled it up yet, but it's going to get filled. These charms were actually on my bangle, but we're gonna wait until we fill them all up. And then we'll go from there but let's start with the charms on my bracelet so this one right here is my first bracelet that i have ever gotten which was from my boyfriend Aww. it's a disney heart it has mickey and minnie on both sides this is mickey and then you have minnie right behind it oh there we go let me get a little bit closer and there's minnie so that's one of my disney charms this one right here is Woody from Toy Story. If you haven't watched Toy Story, then you clearly didn't have a childhood, but this is Woody. So on the top of it, oh my god, my nails look disgusting, guys. Don't look at that. On the top of my charm, on the charm it says, you've got a friend in me. It's hard to see, but it does say it. You've got a friend in me. And this charm I got from my sister for my birthday last year. So the last charm on my Disney bracelet is this Lilo and Stitch charm. There we go. So you have Stitch and you have Lilo and it says Ohana. Ohana means family. Family means nobody, nobody gets, gets left, left behind or, or forgotten. Me and my sister have a matching charm. So that is my Disney soon to be moments bracelet. So I'm gonna grab my bangle now. So this bangle actually has a lot more charms on it. These charms are the charms that I got from friends and family and every charm has a story behind them and they are very dear to my heart. Okay, so this is my other moments bangle bracelet. And as you can see, this bracelet has a lot more charms on it. So I'm going to start from this side. I'm gonna go all the way up and I'm gonna let you guys know what each charm means and a little quick story behind them okay so this one is my gemini charm so i am born on june 20th which makes me a gemini this one is a little wing like an angel wing with a little gold heart on it um, this one is the love and guidance charm. The reason I got this is Not really something that I'm going to say why I got it. It's really a personal reason But I do really like this charm. It's really cute and the meaning behind it is Pretty important to me So I'm not gonna really say why I got it, but yeah, there's that one The next one is this bear This is another charm that I got from my boyfriend he actually calls me bear in his language, which is dub, dub, do, dub, 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 yeah, he calls me dubba, which means bear, but I think the reason he calls me dubba is because I'm chubby, and this bear, as you can see, has a little, little tummy like me. This one is my next one, which is the evil eye. I have this charm, and I got this charm from my mom as well, so we do have this as a matching charm. This is a little dog. So I got this because if you ever watched my other videos, you know that I have a German Shepherd mixed Rottweiler. So this is her. Next is this one. So Pandora does have a lot of letter charms. This is one of the old vintage ones. This is an E. So if you know me, you know my name's Elizabeth. And that's what the E is for. I was going to get an L for Lizzie, but they didn't have any L's, so I'm just like, let me just get an E. This one is a Dreamcatcher charm. This was one of the first ones I also purchased. 
I really like it because on the top it says follow your dreams guys my bracelet's really really dirty it's really tarnished I have to clean it so let me know if you actually want to see me make a video of cleaning Pandora jewelry this one is a little car I got this one for my boyfriend as well because he is a car fanatic so this was a gift from him this is also a retired item so you really can't find it anywhere this is an M for Martin which is my boyfriend as well so I have the letter M for him this is a birthstone charm it's actually the birthstone for December my favorite color is blue as you guys can see on my eyes the birthstone obviously is not for me because I'm not born in December I just don't really like the June birthstone but the December birthstone is my favorite so I obviously have to get that next is this little pig so my Chinese animal is a pig so I had to get that these two charms I got off of Kijiji as well. I actually got these two charms with the with this bracelet and I only paid $70 for it. Which is a which is a deal, which is a bargain. But yeah, so I got these two off of that person. I was actually looking for this charm. So this is the Guardian Angel charm. I was actually looking for this charm everywhere. So happy I found it. It's just it's just cute and then you have this the pearl the pearl is also a June birthstone but Pandora doesn't have any birthstone charms with the pearl on it so this one is basically for that and then you have this one which has a lot of hearts on it this one really doesn't mean anything but I like it and it came with a bracelet for free so why not I might end up giving it to like my mom or something that's my second moments bracelet so I'm gonna move on to my rings now I do have seven rings from Pandora I'll start with let's go from least expensive to most ex expensive from what I remember so this right here is one of the rings that I do own this ring has two cubic zirconias on the sides and a pearl. I use this as almost like a birthstone ring just because it has the little pearl. So again, the birthstone for June. Next ring is this beaded ring. So it's called the eternal cloud ring. It's just little beads going all around. Guys, don't mind my fingers. Don't mind my nails. But yeah, that's that. Next is this linked love ring. So that one would be similar to the eternal cloud. So I'm just going to let that focus a bit. So that one has hearts going all around. you can see this ring was a gift from my sister she gifted this ring for all of her bridesmaids for her wedding so the next two rings I'm going to show you is not a set ring but I actually do stack them together you have the princess wish ring and the wishbone ring so those are these guys right here there you go so this is the princess wish and this one is the wishbone so these are from the same collection but they're not sold together the reason I say they're from the same collection is because you can actually stack them together so you have that I'm not gonna put it all the way down I'm just gonna show you I'll show you guys how I wear all my rings after just so you can see so it's like that this ring I got when it first came out just because it's a really cute ring and it's inexpensive this ring I also got off of Kijiji 
someone bought it and it was in their size and they were selling it for $20 and this ring is $50 so so yeah I do stack those together so the next ring I'm going to show you guys is this timeless elegance ring I wear this ring almost all the time so yeah that's the timeless elegance it has that big square stone in the middle and then it has smaller cubic zirconia stones going all around. The last ring is this ring right over here. So it's a crown ring. It has little stones going all around. I actually stack this ring with my Link Love ring, which would be the heart ring. Oop, and I put this right on top of it. Just so it gives it a little bit more of thickness. And this ring I actually won from Pandora. I think I got put in a hat or something and they picked my name and I won it. Alright, so I'm going to put them all on, all my rings, just so you can see how I wear it. I'm also going to put on the braces just so you can see how I basically wear them all. A few moments later. So this is how I wear my rings and my bracelets. So... Like I said, I stack my crown ring and my heart ring and I stack the princess wish with the wishbone ring, the sparkling wishbone ring. And then I wear these three guys on the side. And there are my bracelets. You have the moments bracelets. I wear one on either side. The one that's full I wear with my essence bracelet. So I stack those together. And then I just wear the Disney bracelet like this. It looks a lot simple right now, but when I add more it's going to be obviously filled up. But yeah. So that is my Pandora collection. I don't own any more Pandora, but I can tell you guys that I have spent a lot of money on Pandora, especially for gifts. All of my sisters, which would be three, have a Pandora bracelet that I started for them. My mom has a Pandora bracelet, my grandma has a Pandora bracelet, so I actually got everybody into Pandora. It's a really easy gift when it comes to occasions like Christmas or their birthdays or Mother's Day just because you can just get a charm and you just add it onto their bracelet and call it a day. So I do hope you guys liked my collection video. So I did try my best at explaining all the charms on the bracelets. Just I don't know why my camera is not focusing that good today so it's giving me a hard time. But again I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Like comment subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when i do drop another video also guys if you have any questions about pandora jewelry let me know and i can't wait to see you guys in another video bye guys